Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to the GV channel, ladies and gentlemen. And also, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, the 100% series where we are 100%ing and doing everything. In The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, she's hot. She's, uh, yeah, fanning herself there. That's not good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the adventure log here. We're doing a rift in the Gerudo Desert. You heard a scream while asking a soldier about how to get under the sand. The soldier is concerned, but she cannot leave her station. Searching for everyone. We're also trying to find everybody that is lost in the rifts. So yeah, if I remember correctly, there is a scream over this way. Ooh, she looks like a main character or some sort of important character. Is she okay? Uh, probably not. Let's also get... Yeah, what is our best? So if we open the notebook, we can see all of our different echoes here. What is our best weapon against the enemies here? I feel like we don't have anything that's just, like, majorly, majorly good. Maybe the Dark Nut. I mean, the Dark Nuts are all, always super-duper scary. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, we got some sort of little, uh, globule, which I think you want to just let hit you, basically, right? Because they're, like, they're gonna hit you eventually. Not necessarily, but, like, you know, they have to hit you in order to, like, spawn the thing so you can move on, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Come on, Dark Nut. There you go. Beautiful. Get him, Dark Nut. Get him. Do a big old halberd slash. Beautiful. Fantastic. I like the design of this character here. Ugh, what happened? The monsters, they're gone? Did you defeat them for me? It seems they pose no threat to you, and yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you, you saved my life. Yeah, no problem, no big deal. Uh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Donna, or Dona, the captain of the Garuda Warriors. What's your name? Huh? Nice to meet you, Zelda. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, Dona? I'm gonna guess Dona. Although it could be just Donna, which is like a Western name. So what brings you out this way? Hmm, I see, I see. You're traveling around fixing rifts, uh-huh. You're fixing rifts? Pardon my shock, it's just that the rifts have been causing a serious trouble lately. We heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't gotten any smaller, and the monsters keep coming without end, it seems. If we could rid ourselves of these cursed rifts, then nobody else would end up getting hurt. Hey, Zelda, do you think she might know how to get you under the sand? Is everything all right, Zelda? Ooh. You want to burrow under the sand? Hmm, well, the sanctum is beneath us. Oh, I understand now. You think you can get rid of the rift if you get into the sanctum. Normally, the entrance to the sanctum is where we're standing, but as you've probably noticed, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. If you want to get into the sanctum, we'd first need to clear out the entrance. How can we clear it? A soldier is guarding the back entrance. If we go through there, we could clear the sand out. Of course, doing that would release the monsters as well. Our chief gave orders to keep it blocked for safety, so I'm not sure how to proceed. If you want to get into the sanctum, we'd first need to clear out the entrance. Why is it blocked up? The sanctum was pulled into a large rift. After that, tons of monsters began swarming out of the entrance to the sanctum. At that point, we blocked up the entrance, trapping the monsters inside. If you want to get into the sanctum, we'd first need to clear out the entrance. I see. In order to get rid of the rift, you need to get into the sanctum, right? Understood. Well then, it sounds like we need to discuss things with the chief. You saved my life, so I'll do all that I can to help you. And if you're able to get rid of the rift, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's meet up at the play palace in Gerudo Town. It's just northwest of here. Normally only Gerudo are allowed in the palace, but I'll put in a word for you ahead of time. All right, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you there. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Mm, a rift in the Gerudo Desert. Quest updated. Okay, so we've got the town up there on the map, and then what do you say? So that cry earlier was Captain Donna. Dona. Thank you for saving her. Yeah, no problem. It's no big deal. All right, let's take a look at the map then. So here we are way down here and up here, a rift in the Gerudo Desert. And then we've also got the Oasis. So the question is, how do we get over to this town? It's kind of in its like own thing. Was it just north of the Oasis? The Flying Tile. 
Oh yeah, what was the deal with the flying tile? Uh, recipes, please. Okay, we need to do 20. We got 15 more smoothie recipes to make. That's fine. Tormalia Garuda, who guards the oasis, looking for a flying tile is requested by her boss. They're located in an area that isn't easy to access. Well, I'm not sure if we can do that just yet, but let's go ahead and warp back to the oasis. Why don't we? So yeah, welcome back to episode 9, ladies and gentlemen. This game is an absolute delight to play. I hope that you're enjoying watching it. Uh, let's go see... Yeah, I don't think we have any leeways on the flying tile. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far nothing. Maybe you'll have better luck, though. If you find one, could you bring it to me? Yeah, I can do that. I'll keep an eye out. No big deal. What is it? Ooh, it's the stamp thing. Yeah, it's been a long time since we got one of those. Uh, okay, we already got those little sand dudes, so we're good there. Let's just go west here. I'm gonna probably put an emphasis on the main story just because, like I said, if you try to over-explore in the early bits of a Zelda game, you typically get stopped a lot of the time just because you don't have the required items and such, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's a little better to kind of keep the story moving at least a bit until maybe you unlock a couple of upgrades. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map, and this must be Gerudo Town. Ooh, and I love how it looks. Okay, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in tornado ghosts? See, I got caught up in a sandstorm recently when this tornado comes whirling at me. It was hard to see clearly, what with all the sand, but I could swear I saw a face in the tornado. It must have been a ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Did I imagine it? If I could see it again, then I'd know for sure. Well, about that, we literally have one of those guys, this little tornado. What's he, what's he called? A tornan tornando. Yeah. G -g ghost? Wait, it's not a ghost or a tornado. It's a monster called a tornando? Actually, now that I get a closer look at it, it doesn't even look like a ghost, does it? It just chased me because it wanted to send me flying across the desert. I didn't anger any spirits. I've really been overthinking things. Well, that clears things up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go. And that's a new ingredient, right? You got 10 containers of fresh milk. This item can be used to recover hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drink. How can I call myself a Gerudo when I'm so spooked by something that wasn't even a ghost? If the chief finds out how to ease, how easily spooked I am, I'll get a real talking to. But I mean, we're all scared of something. Can't really fault a person for having fears. No, that is absolutely true. We all have fears on some level. It's if we let the fears take control. That's the negative thing. So the tornado ghost was actually a monster. Can't believe I was scared. Makes me want to disappear. You're fine. Stop worrying so much about it. Uh, and then we can also light these braziers on fire, which is interesting. Also, I do have a comment question of the episode for you, ladies and gentlemen, which is going to be... What do you like most about the Legend of Zelda series? Pretty, like, open-ended question, but... Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, we're playing a lot of Majora's Mask off camera, my favorite Zelda game. And I want to keep the uh, question Zelda theme, because it's not every day I get to play a Zelda game on my YouTube channels. So yeah, what do you uh, like most about the Zelda games? Let me know in the comments section. I would love to know. I have my answer for sure, which I may wait a little bit in order to talk about. Captain Dona informed me to let you through. Understand that this is an exception to the rule. You may enter. I was told you're allowed to enter the palace, so go on ahead. You might be the first outsider I've seen who's been granted access to the palace. Okay. Will do. Gerudo Palace. All right, where are we meeting? That's definitely Donna right there. Dona. Facet. Chief Sira, I have a report concerning the blocked up entrance to the Sanctum. As predicted, the number of monsters is dwindling. Yeah. Ah, Zelda, I've been waiting for you. Chief, this is the Hylian I was telling you about. With her help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift here and here in our desert. But in order to do that, she'll need to get into the Sanctum. If she can get rid of the rift as she claims, we'll finally be done with this long battle. To this end, will you please restore the entrance to the Sanctum? Captain Dona, do you comprehend what it is you're asking? If you recall, after the Sanctum was consumed by the rift, the surge in monsters began. 
For the town's safety, we blocked the Sanctum's entrance to prevent monsters from pouring out. Since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters, which will fix the rift. After that, we'll reclaim the Sanctum. That was the plan, or have you forgotten? Of course not, Facet. Many of my warriors have been injured and the monsters keep coming. To top it off, we've defeated countless monsters, yet the rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. We should be acting with urgency to be rid of the rift as soon as possible, and Zelda can help. You can't expect us You can't expect us to trust this total stranger. We don't even know where she comes from. You're the chief's daughter. I'm shocked by your severe lack of judgment. Peace, Facet. Pardon my words, Chief Sira, but I Dona, I understand the concern you feel for the warriors. I feel each injury to our warriors as though it was my own. That said, have you seen this Hylian Eradicator Rift? I... You have only just met this stranger yourself. How can you tell us to trust her? Well, I... Chief Sira, it seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now is not the time to be entertaining strangers and their claims. I will prove what Zelda says is true. You'll be wasting your time. This Hylian is clearly deceiving you. She saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda, and I will prove that she can get rid of rifts. No matter how many monsters they fight, the rift isn't going to go away on its own. Dona's is correct about this, so why won't they trust us? Well, you know... Everybody has a way that their kind of community operates, and they just don't want an outside factor. Just the way that it is. The rifts will be gone once we defeat the monsters. Enough of your meddling, stranger. I have no time for entertaining strangers. Facet, continue your report. Quite rude. I'm just trying to help here. Jeez Louise. Hi there. Hi ya ra. Okay, epic. Save it for later. I'm in the middle of training right now. Very, very epic. Can we read this? No, we cannot read that. All right, what now? This guy's got a side quest. Or this girl, they're all girls. I uh, thought the mask was a beard at first. Hello there, Hylian, curious about me? I'm one of many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to slack on my training. My confidence comes from my agility and grace. Behold my skill, hya, hya, hya. What's with the blank expression? It's almost as if you don't find me impressive. Well then, I'll prove my skill to you in a hand-to-hand -hand tag. So, ready to play tag? I'll even give you something if you manage to catch me. I'll do it. Yes, this'll be fun. Let the games begin. Gerudo tag training. Okay, how does this work? Little mini game, I guess. All right, I'm going to get running now. If you tag me, then you win. You can even block the path if you want. Come on, let's get going. Uh, okay, so I can even block the path. That's interesting. I mean, if I just, yeah, just rotate like this, or uh, span or whatever. What's so fast? Even faster than me? Impossible. Yeah, that was super easy. Because <laughs> the spin speeds you up a bit. My, my, you are indeed very capable. Your legs carry you like one who has traveled across many regions. Ah, you have inspired me. Here you are, as promised. Yeah. You got six pieces of chili cactus. I'll keep training until I'm in... Ah, oh, crap. I hate when I accidentally skip dialogue. Freaking sucks, man. Ah, oh, back for more tag. Can never get enough running in. It's true. I'm always up for a game of tags, so let me know. Yeah, typically I max out a minigame once, and then if I find out later that there's, like, a further reward or something, I will, uh, go back to it, obviously. But for now, I think we're good. You there, Hylian. Captain Dona left a message for you on her way out. She mentioned that she's heading to the Oasis, and she'd like you to join her there. To get to the Oasis, head due east when you leave town. You can't miss it. That's all she shared for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, we'll explore Gerudo Town in the meantime. We got another side quest here. Yeah. Oh, a Hylian. I'm impressed you made it all the way here through the desert. You must be quite you must be quite the explorer to come all this way, which reminds me. Oh. I'm looking for these elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them on your travels. You can find them blowing across the sand here in Gerudo Desert, but the pesky things roll out of reach, and if you try to grab one, they fall apart. Oh. The more I think about how elusive they are, the more obsessed I get. All I want is to spend my time observing one of the tumbleweeds closely. But I've managed to destroy every one I've found. My dream is to observe them is my dream to observe them is so out of reach. If you bring me my heart's desire, you will be well rewarded. The elusive tumbleweed. 
Uh, okay, I mean, we've definitely seen... Yeah, there's one right there. Um, so do I move it? No. Huh. Uh, do we have any... Oh, yeah, the wind cannon. That's definitely how we do that. I would think. So we gotta, yeah, blast the tumbleweed into town, which is gonna be annoying, because I'm sure if it collides with anything, it will get destroyed, as one just got destroyed right there, I do believe. So, the question is, how do we activate another tumbleweed? I'm assuming they're just random spawns. Maybe we'll get lucky here? Mm, I don't know how far we would have to go to find one. We did find a decent amount previously. But now we ain't seeing none of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, as far as the common question of the episode, what is your favorite thing about The Legend of Zelda? What is your favorite aspect, component, whatever you wish to call it? Uh, mine is no doubt the atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we can kind of get around it here. Oh, this stupid fish. Oh, that doesn't even... I don't... Uh, you would think the wind would be able to push it. There's another one. Okay, does this not work? No, that literally instantly kills it. Um, are you just supposed to, like, pick it up then? Like, I don't know how to get it. Tornado. Uh, let's take a look at the notebook. Is there anything that would help us grab a tumbleweed? Uh, oh! We probably just want to grab it with the, with the, with the mechanic that I literally always forget exists. Yeah, it's just so weird to me because, again... You know, this game is all about the echoes. It's so weird to me that you have a whole nother, like, uh, mechanic in the uh, Breath of the Wild style Magnesis thing. Anyways, okay, so we should be able... In fact, let's get a tornado guy to get rid of these enemies here. There's another tumbleweed, but it just got destroyed. Uh, okay, here we go. So, let's grab it. Yeah, okay, and then I... Yeah, you want to grab it really close. So that it doesn't really collide with anything. Um, so I'm going to release it and then try to re-grab it. Dang it. Ugh, that was, that's exactly what I was hoping would not happen. Um, anyways, yeah, you want to grab it really close, but you don't want to touch it. Because if it collides with anything, it just gets instantly destroyed. There's one right there. Okay, and then we got a little fit. Ugh. Let's try to grab it at the exact right pixel. Yeah, this is pretty annoying. Okay, that's pretty close. You want to also get it like directly horizontal of you, so you can kind of move to the left, I would bet. But yeah, for me, it's the atmosphere. I love the atmosphere of Legend of Zelda games. They're really not like anything else, you know? Um, specifically, like, you know, my favorite game, Majora's Mask. Like, the atmosphere of that game is so unique. And a lot of Zelda games kind of have a very unique atmosphere. So, I mean, there's so many things to like, obviously. The characters, I, I love pretty much everything about it. The atmosphere, the characters, the music, um, you know, getting different items, seeing what they do, going through dungeons. I love so much about Zelda, but if I had to boil it down to one thing, it would be the atmosphere. Just how much the games nail each vibe for each of the different games. And I love the darker ones, too, like Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask. Oh, you brought me one. Thank you so, so much. Ah, seeing the delicate dried foliage explains why they tend to break so easily. No, wait, it's not dried. This is just a particular type of plant matter. What are these pokey bits? Ha, ah, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is. Oh, I could spend all day gazing at this beautiful, magnificent tumbleweed. My dream has come true, my wish granted. Thank you, kind one. Please take these. Oh, very nice. You got two mite crystals. You could use them for enhancements at Luberry's home. They have such peculiar shapes, don't they? I hope you enjoy observing them for many hours. What is with this woman and observing things? Okay, so let's explore the entire Gerudo town before we move on. See the woman sitting over there? She was stolen away a long time ago. A long time ago, and she hasn't spoken a word since. Before that, she was really lively, a real chatterbox, and she was an excellent dancer. She's changed a lot since those days. Rifts are really disturbing things. She was stolen away a long time ago, and she hasn't spoken a word since. Okay. Well, I'm assuming there's more to that story. That seems very not finished. Uh, yeah, once again, we're gonna take a look at the detail of all the little houses. Yeah, like this little, this little makeup palette, and then a uh, little the lamp here, so much cool stuff. Okay, what up? Most of us here are skilled warriors. Those monsters crawling out of the rifts, yeah, they're no match for us. 
Fair enough. Epic. Okay, we got a little kitty over here. That thing is absolutely adorable. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and light the uh, the braziers because I don't know. It's, it's basically a rule in Zelda games to um, yeah, basically light any braziers you come across. Is that not gonna work? Do we have another. We have the little light guy, right? Where is he at? This dude, the Ignazol, which is a very cool name. Can I put you like in here? Yeah, there we go. I think that is activating. Yep, that is activating. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. Because if we enter a place, I'm betting it'll kind of reset this. I don't know if anything actually happens here, but... You might as well try it out. Um, is there any other brazier? Is that it? Typically, things come in threes. I guess not. Okay, but you can light them, so that tells me something probably happens. I would assume, anyways. What are we got in here? Nothing. Two giant sacks. That's about it. Okay, we got like a weird little window or something here, but can't seem to interact with that either. Hello. Since the rifts appeared, we warriors have been fighting nonstop, resting in shifts. I'm off duty today, but I might do a quick patrol on my walk, pitch in a bit more. Hi. Facette is so uptight lately. I know she's scary now, huh? And she used to be so nice. Do you mind? I'm talking to my cat, not you. Fair enough. These cats are absolutely adorable in this game. I love them so very much. They're like little tiny black globules. All right, bye ladies. Didn't have to be so rude, to be honest. Why'd you have to be so rude? And we talked about this person, right? Or maybe not. I wonder if it's really true that to get rid of the rifts, we need to feed a bunch of monsters. Maybe I'll drag my big sis along to take out monsters with me. She can't be lazy forever. Okay, let's go in here. Hi. Everyone has so much respect for Chief Sira. She moves through the world with such certainty. I wish I could be half as confident as her. Well, it's just something you build up over time, you know? You gotta kind of work at that if that's really something that you want. Uh, alright. And then we've got a little item shop here, it looks like. Hi. Welcome, how can I help you? I'd like to chat. Did you hear about how our precious Gerudo Sanctum got swallowed up by a rift? As the name implies, it's a sacred place to us here. Hard to believe the state it's in now. Okay, what do you got here? Gerudo Sandals. Those are Gerudo Sandals. They're second to none for long walks in the desert. Quicksand proof. Ooh. Have we run into quicksand issues? Because this might be, like, basically an item in, like, classic Zelda to let us get around certain things. Traditional desert sandals, they prevent the wear from sinking in quicksand, but it costs about 208 more rupees than we have. Okay, what do we got here? Red Podion, just heals health. No big deal. We got some chili cactuses, it looks like. Yep. And then we've got some warm peppers. Key ingredient in Gerudo cooking when using a drink, it grants the drinker resistance to cold. Yeah, like I said, lots of uh, overlap to Breath of the Wild in this game. Kind of crazy. Uh, that is incredibly expensive, by the way, so no thank you. I definitely want those items, but not for that price, I'm afraid. What are you, crazy? Okay, let's go over here. This looks kind of interesting, as if there's something going on here, but maybe not. And then it looks like we want to get on top of these buildings. Seems like something else might happen if we get up there. So let's grab our trampoline and then jump up here. Now, what do we got? Uh, yeah, there was definitely an entrance, right? I'm going to lift these pots because it almost seems like we could interact with these windows, but I guess not. Okay. And then what's going on up here? This pot looks weird. I wonder if we can destroy it. Maybe if we spawn a bomb fish. Oh, why does he walk away like that? Bomb fish, I need you to just chill, man. I'm gonna lift you up here and then throw you now. Okay, let's just uh, let's spawn him and grab him and then kind of wait right here. Mm, I mean, maybe it has to be on the bottom plane. Nah, I'm gonna assume that does nothing. Okay. Let's go in here. What do we got? So many, like, interesting places to go, but there's really nothing unless... I don't know. We're just missing something. You would think there'd be something in here because you gotta do a little work to get up there, but... No such luck. All right, let's talk to these two ladies. Special permission or not, don't go into the palace without good reason. 
Chief Seer is very busy, after all. And anyway, what's a stranger like you doing in there? Captain Dona left for the Oasis. She's hoping you meet her there. When you leave town, head east. You'll come to the Oasis. She'll be waiting for you. Okay, let's just pop in here real quick again. We got these two people talking. I don't think they're going to say anything. We got a door back here. But can't seem to go inside. That's fine. Let's go back over this way. We got the two training people. And then that might just be it for... Oh, there's also somebody up top there. I wonder if we can get up there. Yeah, probably if we spawn the thing of water. This bad boy. Okay, spawn that there. Then get up and spawn another one. Yep, and very close. Uh, we've got one more try here. That might do it. Yeah, beautiful. Only authorized personnel beyond here. Oh, come on. I did like a secret thing to get up here. Give me something. Whoa, you scared me. How'd you get up here? I'm impressed. I fell asleep during training, so I've got to repair the hole in this roof as punishment. I filled it with sand, and that plugged it up. It's kind of sloppy, but it'll be fine. Interesting. Okay. Um. Yeah, it feels like they want to give us something for coming up here, but still not seeing anything. And then there's these, like, weird plants, too. Uh, like, on the right side of the screen there. I'm wondering if we'll get something. Oh, maybe we just put water on them. They'll, like, grow or something. I don't know. Anyways, it seems like we want to go up here if we can. Might be, like, a little secret. Oh, yeah. This is prime secret territory, if you ask me. Let's go all the way over here to the left. Not seeing anything. Okay, we can obviously hop down there, but I kind of want to stick to the Gerudo stuff for now. We've got a ladder leading down. That's exciting. Okay, what do we got down here? Give me something. Come on, I'm, I'm working hard to explore. Ooh. Hi. Okay. Now, I'm assuming I can't actually hurt these guys, because if I would like to... Because if we can, like, actually hurt them and, like, grab them as an echo, I mean, there's no way. Because this seems like an actual game mechanic, obviously. Uh, and yeah, we can't even... Oh, we can lock on. So maybe... I'm betting not. That would be very weird to me if we could actually kill this guy. Oh! No way. You actually can? That's, like, really surprising to me, actually. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna need... What the heck is happening? Here, go here. And I'm gonna need you to slash when he lands. Wow, that's actually an echo. I really was not expecting that. You learn the Plat Boom Echo, an unusual monster that tries to crush anything that approaches. The Brave can ride it up to high places, however. Yeah, I'm genuinely astounded, but I guess pretty much, yeah, anything that's like a monster pretty much counts. Okay, so let's grab a trampoline. And I don't need you any more... Okay, Dark Nun, did you seriously just destroy... Okay, you need to go away. Because you are ruining what I'm trying to accomplish here, my friend. I do appreciate your help. But it's kind of causing me issues. You understand, my boy. You understand. Okay, so the question is, if we spawn an Ignazol, will he burn those crates? Looks like no, but if we spawn a bomb fish... Without a doubt, this will drop us downwards. Yep. There's probably much better, you know, efficient ways to do this. Well, this is a fish. Ent. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, looks like we can get items from these two. Um, we might have kind of screwed ourselves over here, because I'm not sure if there's any way. Oh, I want that pepper, too. Give me that. Yeah. You got a warm pepper. This is a key ingredient in Gerudo cooking, but you can't use it in its current form. That's fine. Okay. So. Hmm. This is an interesting puzzle. Because, like, yeah, we can't really do anything with this. Are we stuck here? Well, we have... Oh, I wonder if we can do something. Um. So, we have that spider boy. Where's that spider boy? Way back here. The strantula. Now, if we summon a strantula... If we summon a strantula... If we summon a stra- Are you guys not the ones that, like, do the thing? Okay, hold on. Let's go to this. Uh, is it this guy? Crawlchula does not spin webs. Spins thread to dangle from ceilings. The thread is strong but quite flammable. Okay. Do, do your string. What are you doing? Well, now I'm genuinely curious. Because, um... 
Yeah, how do we even get out of here? Oh, I guess we could do the water. Yeah, that would work. Okay, water block, and then we'll do another... It's very, like, weird how to do this, because you have to, like, kind of jump over to the right and then place one, kind of like that. And then I think we can place one more. Beautiful. Now, if we grab this and then go up, yeah. And then if I time this right... That didn't really work. Okay, come on. You're, like, right there. Um... Hmm. Okay, let's release that. I'm gonna jump like this. Now I've got the height advantage, right? Or maybe that doesn't even work like that. Um, how the heck am I gonna do? Okay, that's kind of doing something. It's kind of getting wedged in there. Well, if I can, like, spawn a- Oh! No way that works. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay. I don't know if that was intentional at all. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they want you to do there. You got a piece of art, collect four, your maximum number will increase, and then it also fully heals us. Okay, so what happens if I'm crushed here, I wonder? And then why did he rise? Oh, weird. Okay, so then if I put this here, yeah. Yeah, there's probably a way to like better do that with the plat boom here, uh, which is also weird, because he has, you basically need to like jump to get up top of him. Yeah, there must have been a, a much better, like, you know. Uh, oh my god, I'm so silly, too. I was like, how the heck are you supposed to get out of here? And then I realized, yeah, you need to... But what happens if you get to the spot and you didn't absorb one of these one of these guys here? I wonder. Okay, let's suck in these dudes. Gotta be a better way to say that. And then we're gonna go like that. Hmm. I just want to see what happens if we spawn one... Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, this is so weird. I definitely did not do this entire, like, sort of dungeon efficiently, but hey, we got all the stuff, so it's all good. All right, anyways, got the plat boom and got the heart container. That plat boom is going to be a, a big plat boon, if you ask me. That's what I would assume, anyways. All right, so I think that is the entirety of Gerudo Town Explored. So now... Yeah, the only thing is the braziers. I wonder if there is something there, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and warp over to Oasis. And continue on our adventure. We are here. Nice to see you all. And we talked to everybody here too, didn't we? Did we do everything in the Oasis? I'm forgetting. Uh, nothing in the pool of water. Yeah, we went in here and did the mini game. I remember that. Okay, let's just find the main lady then, who is here. So, none of the rifts are shrinking yet, I see. Thank you for your report. Get some rest before you return to patrol the rifts. Thanks for coming, Zelda. Let's talk over here. The water here is so beautiful, don't you think? This place holds many memories for me. The chief, my mother, used to play here with me when I was little. She would tell me to look at the serene water to keep my mind and heart calm like the water. Facet took up my training rather than my mother because mother was busy as a chief. Facet trained the others too. Thanks to her and mother, we are the Gerudo you see today. I have so much respect for the both of them, but I can't stand by and watch things get worse. I believe you can fix the rift, Zelda, and so I wonder how we can prove to my mother and Facet that you are being honest. Aside from the big rift at the Sanctum, there are also three small rifts elsewhere in the desert. I'd like for you to see if you can get rid of any of them. They're in the Southern Oasis Ruins, Ancestor's Cave of Rest, and Southern Gerudo Desert. Want to know more about the rifts? Tell me about the Oasis Ruins. I received reports about monsters coming out of the rift near the ruins south of here. Some of my soldiers were dispatched to deal with them. Want to know more about the rifts? Ancestor's Cave. There's a small cave on the northern edge of the desert that houses a grave for our ancestors, but a rift appeared in the cave, and so we now can't even visit the grave. Tell me about the southern desert. A rift opened up south of town. I have some soldiers keeping an eye on it now, as monsters could come pouring out of it at any time. Nope. Ah. I trust you, Zelda, and if you get rid of a rift, I'm sure the chief will trust you too. Come talk to me again if you need more info on the rifts, okay? Okay, so now we got four different rifts to take on, but probably three that we can take on. What up, buddy? 
Okay, let's do some mixing and matching. We got some new ingredients, right? We got a tough mango. Uh, combine, ew, mango and milk. Boost the healing effect to the drinker by a lot. Yeah, let's try that. Sure. You got it. What is that? You got a milky tough smoothie. That sounds disgusting. Grotesque. Uh, okay, what about milk and butter, right? That would do something, I would imagine. It would make like a cream drink or something. Yeah, you got a milky radiant smoothie. Okay. And then what else we got? A warm pepper. What would go well with that? I would think like a tough mango would make like some sort of spicy tropical drink. Oh yeah, look at that. You got a warm mixed special. Beautiful. Oh, you got too many drinks. Gotta make some space first. I'm fine, thanks. Okay, so we'll try to use those drinks when we can. All right, let's take a look at the map. So yeah, three rifts, one up here, one down here, and then one over here south of Gerudo Town. Well, let's head up to the top left. I feel like we'll work our way downwards and that'll be a good way to do it. Uh, okay, we got a Tornando. Whoa, it's getting like really, ooh, have we, uh, I don't know if we fought these guys. Yeah, what is our best, uh, still the P-Hat maybe? The P-Hat still might be our best option here. And then, uh, can I grab these guys with that? Yeah, okay. I wonder if I can make them hit each other or something. I can also lift these, but they're not really letting me do that. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so we do this then. And then I think we slash away at him. Yeah. And then let's also grab that echo. You learn the Club Borblin Echo. A brute of the northern Gerudo Desert, this creature bounds directly at foes and lays into them with its club. Good to know. All right, let's summon one of them, and then how much? How many do they take? It looks like they take two. And let's also drink a smoothie, make up some room here. Mixed apple, lightning proof. I mean, I'd like to use something that doesn't have an effect. There we go. It's locked. Okay, we have to defeat everything to get this for sure, it looks like. Uh, what would be the best way to deal with these little sand guys? I guess another little sand guy. The sand piranha. And then how many of these can we summon? Looks like two of them. Okay, are you bad or are you good? Looks like you're bad. Here, you're coming with me. Let's go. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's one of ours and they're fighting like the other two ones. Okay, looks like they took down both of mine. All right, if you guys could get in there. Yeah, I don't know the best way. I think we have to kill all these enemies in order to get that chest. So I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way to do that. Whoa! That freaking boomerang is so, like, accurate. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because we haven't really used this sword mode too much. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not even gonna care about the little sand piranhas. They're just kind of annoying to deal with. You got seven warm peppers. Oh, and because it's, it's because we've got the sandstorm effect, we can't really see where the rift is, but it looks like it might be over here. Yeah, I would imagine right in here. Let's go ahead and get some shelter from the storm. Hi. The torches in here have all gone out. What am I going to do? With the rift in here, I can't get near the grave, so I can't light the torches. And without them lit, our ancestors won't be able to rest peacefully. Ancestors Cave of Rest Rift. All right, let's also drink another smoothie. Looks like this one's the good healing one. Okay, well, we got a big old rock right there. Let's go ahead and move that and see what this does. Okay, that reveals a little zone. Now, we can't get past the rifts, right? No matter what we do, ba they basically act as a wall. Yeah, looks like that's the case. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh, okay, we got little, we got new guys here. Let's go for the sand uh, piranhas. Oh, they shoot out little like, um, huh. They shoot out like little, uh, yeah, little, uh, little, little rock bombardments. Um, how can I deal with this guy? Uh, we could just do the sword mode again, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, hello. 
Okay, that's that guy dead. And that's that guy dead. Beautiful. And what do we got here? You learned the hall mill echo? The hole mill? That's a weird way to... That's a weird name for this guy. This monster digs holes in soft earth. Sometimes these holes can be in entrances to hard-to-reach places. Wait, what? What did that just say? The, this monster digs holes in soft earth. Sometimes these holes can be entrances to hard-to-reach places. Sounds like we could almost use that as like a way to navigate or something. But that's interesting. And then we've got another giant rock here. Let's release that, and then that reveals a ladder going downwards. Okay, and we've got another little sidestepping area. Now, there's definitely gotta be a way to remove this sand. Oh, I guess the moles, right? Okay. So go ahead and do your thing, little guy. Oh! That is super clever. Okay, I like that a lot. So there's a treasure chest over there, so we'll have to get that. So then we can grab the five rupees here. Thank you. And no way to go upwards, I would imagine. So we're definitely gonna have to do this again. And we got like an Ignazol. Um, oh, I'm literally on fire now. Let's try to see if we can spin it out. Okay, can you attack this guy? Yeah, he's gonna give it a shot. Come on. Shoot another salvo. He's right there. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Uh, let's give the sand piranha... Oh my god, I'm literally falling into this thing. Let's give the sand piranha a shot. Yeah, it's it's so funny. It feels like every time I try to, like, spawn an enemy of my own... Oh, that'll work, I guess. Uh, yeah, anytime I try to spawn, like, an enemy to fight for me, I swear to god, they're not nearly as capable as, like, the actual enemies. Okay, what do we got here? A little pot with an uh, with a heart inside. Okay, and then where does this go? All right, so yeah, let's redo this. Let's spawn the whole whole mill. Very weird name. Not really understanding it. Okay, excuse me. And then if we put one all the way over here to the left, that'll get us that treasure chest. You got a golden egg, but not the goose that lays it, unfortunately. Okay, then let's go down here. Thank you. We got that green rupee up there, but I'm not going to care about a singular rupee. I'm not going to really count that for the 100% because, you know, we'll find green rupees everywhere we go, basically. All right, and then up here to the right looks like this leads to the next zone. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't realize there was a person here. Huh? They don't even say anything. Oh, and they give you the Ignazole there, too, if you didn't have one, so you can light these, uh, these braziers. Just like that. Ah, uh, peace once more. I don't believe I've seen you before. Well, thank you for lighting the torches. With the fires burning, we can rest peacefully now. Please, go tell my descendant that all is well. The torches are lit again? Ah, they are. So, you lit them, but how? You found a secret passageway to the grave. I didn't know one existed. And a Gerudo over there wanted you to talk to me? That's so weird. I thought I was the only one here. Well, anyway, thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. I'm sure the ancestors are happy, too. Thank you. I'm not seeing anywhere I can create an opening into the rift, so we won't be able to get in here. Okay, main quest complete. I was hoping we'd be able to interact with that with that grave, but I guess, uh, or that uh, sarcophagus, but I guess we're not meant to. The ancestors must feel at ease now, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Glad to help. Alrighty, so now we got the sandstorm activated, so it's gonna be hard to see where to go. Let's work our way, yeah, kind of southeast now. And then, uh, yeah, let's go make a couple more smoothies as well since we have a couple of slots. Also, if we have another drink to drink, I will drink the drink. We got a lot of powerful drinks, actually. Swim speed up. I'm gonna drink that one. Probably not gonna need that for a while. Okay. 
What have we not made? May greatly boost the effect of other ingredients. So let's give that a shot with the warm pepper plus 10 rupees. Yeah, that's fine. That works for me. You got it. Ooh, you got a golden piping hot smoothie. That sounds so delicious, actually. Okay, what else can we make? How about tough mango and floral nectar? That sounds delicious. You got a sweet, tough smoothie. So I'm not sure if these are counting as like new creations or not. And I think we could make one more. Rock Tato grants the drinker a boost to wall climbing speed. Interesting. Let's try that with a tough mango, maybe. Actually, that'd be gross, wouldn't it? Just realized. Ooh, you got a mango climbing smoothie. Okay, and then he says we have too many drinks. Now, I want to see if we go into the quests here. You've got nine to go. Okay, so it's def so basically any combination that is a mystery that you haven't made before, that is not like the failure recipe will create a new recipe. So that's good to know. Okay. Hello, ladies. Ugh. Hey, are you hanging in there? Yes, yeah, sort of. Actually, actually, no, I'm not. We're defeating wave after wave of these things, but they just keep coming. Uh -huh. huh? When did you get here? It's not safe in here. Monsters keep coming after us. <laughs> just like that. Ugh, my muscles are locking up at this point. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Ugh. Yeah. Those cursed monsters. Well, am I supposed to defeat the monsters, or are we just heading inside this thing? Which I think we already did, actually. Uh, we might have to just defeat the monsters, so who would be good here? I'm just gonna go for the pea hat, honestly, like I said. Alright, hit me. Spawn the dudes. I am ready for it. And then, yeah, I like that they let you take things into your own hands as well. I do enjoy that. The fact that they let you, um, you know, go into sword mode. Feels pretty good, also, if you just gotta get through something quickly. Okay, so down goes the pea hat. Let's spawn another one. Let's lock onto these re-deads. Okay. Uh. Wow, you're pretty strong, girl. <laughs> I can't believe we're the ones being saved. <sighs> well, at least the monsters seem to be mopped up for the time uh. being. Now, if the rift would just go away, I'm worn out from all the relentless fighting. Let's take a break for a bit. Thank you for helping us. You're a lifesaver. Absolutely. I can't create a rift entrance here, so we won't be able to get into this one. Okay, and that solves that as well. Now, if we go to items, how many of those crystals do I have? Where do we see those crystals at? There. Was that enough? to level up. I actually don't remember. So over here is Luberry's house, right? Let's go check really quick. Want to be using these upgrades when we can, obviously. Alright, yo, what up, peeps? It's Zelda again. I am here. Nice to see you. What do you want to enhance? Wow, we need 10... Crystals by sword level two can't enhance it any further right now. Come back after I do more research. Okay, so we need four more of these crystals in order to Enhance the energy or whatever it was All right, so then we've got one final rift and it's south of the Gerudo town Let's head on over Let us head right to it do, 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 do. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, water. Uh, oh no, what's wrong? We've been keeping post here at the rift without any rest, and we ran out of water while fighting the monsters. We're about ready to collapse. I'm so thirsty, I can't even move anymore. You've got to drink something right away. Water won't be enough. You need a drink that can both hydrate you and provide nutrients. Huh? I know. Zelda, can you run to the smoothie shop at the Oasis and buy a cactus smoothie? They'll make one for you if you give them two chili cacti. Here. You got two pieces of chili cactus. Huh? 
I'll stay here and keep an eye on them, so please go after that drink, Zelda. Uh, we might literally have that. Let's see if we do. Ah, oh, the cactus smoothie. Thank you, Zelda. All right, everyone, drink up. Yep, I knew that we did. That sounds so delicious, by the way. I love prickly pear stuff. Phew, I feel rejuvenated. Oh, I feel so much better already. Thank you. Now we can get back to patrolling. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all feeling refreshed. There's nowhere around here for me to create an entrance into the rift. Zelda, how's it gone so far? Were you able to get rid of any of the rifts? Oh, you couldn't get rid of them, which means getting you into the Sanctum is the only way we'll solve things. But we don't have any way to do that right now. Huh? Captain Dona, we've received a message from Lady Facet. She wants to know whether or not you've been able to see evidence of Zelda's powers yet. She commands that you bring the Hylian and provide her a status update. So be it. Huh? We haven't found a way to prove your ability yet, but we better go check in regardless. I'll go on ahead to the palace. Come and meet me there later, please. You got it. Yeah. I almost passed out. Thank you so much for helping us. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better already. <laughs> Phew, I feel rejuvenated. Okay, so we got to go back to... I guarantee it wasn't even worth warping there, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm just kind of uh, a bad boy like that. Sometimes I don't even need to warp, but you know I'm, I'm you know what I'm like. I'm just gonna warp anyways. I don't even care. That's how cool I am. Okay, hello there. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside if you don't mind. Yeah, I feel like um, Facet is a replaced person, right, by the Rift or whatever. <laughs> Tell us, Captain Dona, have you managed to find proof that she can fix the Rifts? No, not yet, but if you would listen to what she has to say, then you'll... So you've returned to us with nothing after swearing you would find proof of her capabilities. Clearly, this is some sort of joke. The stranger has you entirely deceived. No, she doesn't. For what reason would she be deceiving me? To what end? She's been working with me to prove that she can get rid of the rift since we last spoke. Would she be running all over the desert like that simply to have a laugh at my expense? I know she's telling the truth, and I'm willing to give her the opportunity to prove it to you, too. I can't stand by while my warriors, my friends, are being wounded on the battlefield. I trust Zelda, and I know she can get rid of the rifts. We just have to give her the chance. I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Please, Chief Sira, let us enter the Sanctum. Dona, you are willing to risk your honor as a warrior to place your trust in this person? Huh? I am. You've grown so strong, my daughter. I, too, can no longer stand by while my people suffer. Seeing you put your honor on the line inspires me to place my own trust in this person. Chief Sira, you cannot be serious. If we remove the sand from the Sanctum, we will once again be overwhelmed by monsters. Do you forget that I'm a warrior, Facet? I will hold the monsters at bay. You're being ridiculous. You really think you can hold back waves of monsters on your own? She won't be on her own. Huh? Why are you here? We overheard your discussion. Chief Sierra Lady Facet, this young lady has helped all of us. She helped me at the cave of our ancestors. And she aided us as well. If she's able to rid us of these horrible rifts, then we'll do all we can to support her. Captain Dona, we stand at your side. Hmm. <clears throat> Facet, you heard our warriors. Are you now willing to hear the Zelda out? Of course not. What are you saying? What a wretched excuse for a chief. She's trying to deceive you, to take advantage of you. Can't you see... That's her true character. <laughs> Guards, this girl has ill intentions and is here to deceive us, Gerudo. Throw her in jail at once. Facet, what are you doing? <gasps> Chief Sierra, we've got trouble. What is it? A rift at the ruins of the eastern desert grew and a bunch of our warriors were taken by it. Take me there at once, soldier. Yes, Chief Sierra. Onward, warriors. Of course, Chief Sira. Chief Sira, please, you must wait. You can't go rushing into the fray like this, so ill-equipped. And there she goes. Ill-equipped? Well, she's got a spear. She's got that sick-ass hair. The rift expanded. I might be able to create an entrance there, then. Let's follow them. You got it, little try. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be a good place to end. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite aspect of the Legend of Zelda game. 
It's it's very hard to choose, man. Like literally everything is so well done, which is why it's uh, you know obviously one of the most beloved series of all time. Uh, for me, yeah, I would say the atmosphere in general. Yeah, there's a lot of other things I could talk about though. But let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.